Hey everyone, how's it going? This is Brian Mehta bringing you another video tutorial today on some Lightroom Pro editing. I'm going to show you how you're going to take a super boring, flat and underexposed image and make it look super vibrant, pleasing to the eye and punchy. This is how it's going to look before and after. So without wasting any more of your time, let's just jump right into it. So the reason I decide to pick this particular photo is because the picture is horrible. There's a lot of shadows, there's the golden hour, however the contrast is way too much, the composition is off, however we'll try to restore this particular image. So the first thing that we're going to do is I'm going to reduce the highlights to bring out some detail in the sky. I'm going to bring it down to let's say minus 49. Then I'm going to just like raise overall shadows because as you can see it's pretty contrasty. So I'm going to go a little crazy with this. That looks good. I'm going to add a bit of whites just to give it that pop. That looks good. Now as you can see it looks fairly better than it did before however we're going to take an adjustment brush and i'm going to kind of try to expose the board and the model as well so what i'm going to do is i'm going to just like roughly <clears throat> brush over and what i'm going to do is i'm going to bump up the whites It's a better way to increasing exposure on a shaded area instead of just doing exposure because it just makes it look super ugly. So I usually always do it with whites. It gives it a more subtle and natural look. That looks good. Now what we're going to do is we're going to fix some color. Bring some pops into the whole image. So the first thing I'm going to do is I feel like the golden hour orange skin tone is way too strong especially because there's such a big contrast because half of her body is in shadows so I'm gonna just fix that one second I'm gonna make her skin tone a bit more on the yellow side than on the orange just to like neutralize tones I'm gonna bump up the yellows I'm gonna bump up the greens That looks good. The yellows is for the sand and some yellow areas over here. I'm gonna go to the saturation. I'm gonna again because her skin looks too orangey to me. I'm just gonna bring it a bit down. That looks so much better. Then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take the yellows. I'm gonna desaturate them a bit. Go crazy with the greens. Because why not? gonna bump up the aquas as well that's for the skies same with the blues that looks good and I'm gonna go to the luminance and bring up more detail that looks good I think the picture could use a little more of a cooler tone because again I just feel like because of the golden hour there's like a lot of yellow tone so I'm gonna just bring this down that looks good I'm gonna bring up maybe a bit back yes that looks good So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to add a little bit more selective contrast just to give it a more pop. So I'm going to take an adjustment brush again and what I'm going to do is I'm going to paint roughly over the boat just because I want to give it a more dramatic look. You can always toggle this just to give you an idea of your masks. You don't have to be super precise with it so don't worry. That looks good. What I'm going to do is go 
gonna create give it like a little pop however I'm gonna also go crazy with the contrast because I want to add a little bit punch to the shot especially because we raised so much of the shadows right I'm gonna do that maybe add a bit of clarity just to add a little bit of texture and a bit of saturation that looks good and we're gonna take another adjustment brush and this time what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna just do it on her body roughly again you don't have to be super precise with it and I'm gonna bump up the whites again a little bit I'm just trying to pop the subject a bit more than it be did before that looks good and just for like some final touches what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add a tad bit of clarity maybe I can warm this on slightly more just to give it that pop you can give it if you feel like the contrast is still too high in her hair you can just take a brush again just paint it around here and you can raise a bit of these shadows and a bit whites this is how it looked before and this is after and voila we are done it was quite simple it's all about using adjustment brushes and doing selective toning and stuff especially when you're trying to fix a particular photo creating color contrast and exposure contrast as well um, in the thumbnail you must have noticed i had cropped the image just to make it look a bit better because the crop is absolutely horrible the composition is absolutely horrible on this however it's completely up to you because every photo will be different let me know what you guys think if you enjoyed this please leave me a like do comment me any questions that you have or if there's anything in particular you want me to cover thank you so much for watching please subscribe to my channel and i'll see you guys next time take care